In today's episode, a guy will laugh nervously. A Ferrari will fart. And Japan will be Japanese. There is not much footage of this Segway tractor, but that makes it even more mysterious. In the comments of the video, I found the theory that it's being balanced with a gyroscope. Another one said that there are two smaller wheels inside the big wheels that balance it out. And another one claimed that it's just really well balanced. What do you think? When your wheels stick out of the front or rear of your car, you can basically drive up the wall. Obviously not like Spider-Man, but it's still a cool party trick. This is the peak of car modification. Everything you see here is functional and serves a purpose. On a serious note, I am sure this car cannot wait for the sweet, sweet release of death. God left me unfinished! Sausage curbs can be found on a lot of racetracks around the world. Their purpose is to make racing safer by discouraging drivers from going off the track. But recent events have proven that they are in fact making racing more dangerous. There have been multiple occasions of drivers getting airborne after hitting those curbs with their race cars. The most recent example was unfortunately quite brutal. During the 6 hours of Monza, a Aston Martin lost control before the second chicane and hit the sausage curb sideways. He was okay by the way. I've said it a million times, I don't like those curbs at this no. track. I've seen it happen in the first chicane and this very chicane as well. Here is something I personally didn't know about the Honda CRX Del Sol. A special edition of this car got a removable roof and the way it's being removed is interesting to say the least. Basically, there is a mechanism that lifts a massive panel in the back, then the roof is getting pulled back into the storage box and finally the mechanism retracts again. Obviously, it's not the most reliable system, but it's still pretty interesting to see how someone back in the 90s approved this into mass production. And while we are at the topic of removing roofs, here is why I think non-mechanized roofs are the best. Three, two, one, go! Obviously, the hardtop is quieter at high speed and is safer against thieves, but I like the simplicity of the manual soft top. During the Acropolis rally in 2002, Petr Solberg had a small problem. His steering wheel came loose, but he didn't want to stop to repair it. So his quick-thinking co-driver Phil Millet found a wrench and tightened it. And the best part is that they still finish in second place at this stage. Guess the score by the sound. Yeah. Okay, I may have no idea what this boat is, but you just got trolled. I was watching the BMW M4 CSL Nordschleife record video and I was blown away by the confidence of the driver, going almost 300 km an hour into a turn in a car that is basically a spiced up family sedan. Still goes straight, turning in on the right side, this full throttle. The really cool thing about drifting is that almost anything that has real drive can do it. No matter if it's a legendary Japanese sports car or a big American V8 land yacht, they can still dance together. I sometimes think about what people from hundreds of years ago would think when a car would show up, because that's literally how they describe dragons in tales. Okay, so this is a 2000 horsepower Nissan GTR going against a 1250 horsepower Honda Civic. That's cool and all, but what is the cameraman driving? I have the answer, a 1115 wheel horsepower Toyota MR2. It has a Honda K20 engine and a sequential transmission, pure insanity. <laughs> a 
And while we are at the topic of insane Toyota MR2s, here is a 500 horsepower push it on the drag strip. There is something super satisfying about this launch. Is it the top mounted exhaust or the way that the tie led daring syncs up with the camera? My cousin had a Mini Cooper with an exhaust system that just didn't want to shut up. Even when cruising at low speeds, sometimes it's just too much. Life is about the little things, like the perfectly cut hood matched to your exhaust. Here is the most abused car battery on YouTube, trying to start a Ferrari 521 V12 boxer engine after a few months of storage. Some engines are so well made to the point where they can make a lot of power on stock internals. Here is a Civic that does exactly just that. Not everything needs to make sense, like for example, why would you need more than 100 horsepower in a tiny Japanese off-road car that is actually meant for hunters? Well, this guy decided to push the tiny 1.3 liter engine to its limit and got a whopping 400 horsepower after turbocharging it at 44 psi. With all-wheel drive cars, it's much easier to simply slam on the throttle without worrying about spinning out. But it gets more tricky when you want to drive smoothly on a normal racetrack. Okay, so we all know that diesel cars usually sound pretty bad. So, that's why I was surprised to hear how good the Alfa Romeo 156 with a 2.4 diesel engine sounds like. And while we are at the topic of good sounding diesel engines, here is the 5-cylinder Volvo D5 engine. Do you hate traction and efficiency? I have the solution for you. Just get a 800 horsepower diesel truck. This is the peak of motorsports. Two Toyota AE86s serving a insane drift battle while the commentator goes completely nuts. <laughs> I just recently noticed how long the first gear in Corvettes is. Also, the acceleration in second gear seems to be more violent than the first gear. What is the coolest camera angle in Formula 1? People say it's a Euro's corner, but I think the pool chicane in Monaco shows the insane speed even better. I 
I thought that older Formula 1 cars have the smallest possible V8 engines. The smallest one had a 1.5 liter displacement. But here is one that is even smaller by around one Coca-Cola can. This is a 1.2 liter V8. It's tiny, but it does the job, right? <laughs> I found a video of a Miata being abused. No, I'm not talking about it doing donuts, but having monster truck wheels. What will happen to all of the toys that Russian oligarchs have lost after they got seized? Well, I propose this, turning them into off-road monsters and sending them into the roughest terrain possible. Then send the videos to the owners. Getting high horsepower out of a naturally aspirated engine is not easy. This is a 6B Mazda RX-4 that is street legal and produces over 800 horsepower, not some special racing fuel. It is powered by gas that you can find at your local gas station. Thank you so much for watching and if you want more, check out my second channel. Have a nice day. That doesn't make sense.